So Nvidia's Ampere Gaming GPU rumors are heating up and the latest we've got details on for today are for the mainstream GeForce RTX 3060 series. Replacing the GeForce RTX 2060, the GeForce RTX 3060 series will be positioned within the mainstream segment with pricing in the three to $400 pricing bracket, which is pretty much where the existing lineup costs. However, these cards are positioned to go against a heated segment with AMD also actively working on replacing its mainstream stream lineup soon. The latest rumors are once again been tweeted out by copite 7 kimmy who has revealed that Nvidia has taped out two new GPUs in the past few weeks. These include the Ampere GA106 and GA107. Both GPUs are based on the Ampere graphics architecture and focused on the consumer segment which includes entry and mainstream graphics cards. If these NVIDIA gaming GPUs are indeed taped out a few weeks back, then this would suggest that we shouldn't expect to see these cards to enter the retail segment anytime soon. The same was true for the GeForce RTX 2060, which was introduced four months after the GeForce RTX 2080. NVIDIA may initially be planning to target the high-end enthusiast cards for AMD based on its RDNA 2 GPUs. Looking at what we do know about the GA106 GPU is that it's expected to power, again, the GeForce RTX 3060 series graphics cards. By series, we mean to say that the GeForce RTX 3060 might include more than just one graphics card. The reason is that Copite 7 Kimmy's rumors suggest that NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3060 itself is going to feature the GA106-300 GPU. We don't know what the exact specifications for this chip is, but we do know that under the 300 SKU is usually not the top chip. The Turing TU-106 GPU had several variants that included the GeForce RTX 2060, the GeForce RTX 2070, and the GeForce RTX 2060 Super. In the case of Turing, the GeForce RTX 2070 featured the top TU-106 SKU. In the previous rumor, it was stated that the 3070 series would be utilizing the 104 GPU, which is a step up from Turing. That would leave more room open for several SKUs in the mainstream segment. So it's likely the GA106-300 would power the standard RTX 3060, but there could also be two more SKUs planned out. A GeForce 3060 Ti or Super could launch with a full fat GA106 400 SKU, and a lower end 3050 Super could be introduced with the GA106 200 SKU. But while these are just possibilities, there needs to be a necessity, such as competition or a demand in a particular segment, for such cards to be produced in the first place. The RTX 3060 is a given, but the rest of the two SKUs depend mostly on what AMD has up their sleeves. Currently, the RTX 2060 series cards are placed in a vastly different segment. Nvidia also has stated that the GeForce RTX 2060 Super doesn't replace the GeForce RTX 2060. Now, the RTX 2060 features a cut down core and lower 6 gigabytes of VRAM and a much lower price point of 279 to 299 US, while the 2060 Super features a beefed up TU 106 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM and a much higher price point of 399. Also, it's interesting to note that the previous rumors pointed that the GA106-300 SKU featuring 6GB of RAM, while the RTX 2060 Super features 8GB of RAM. While the specifications are not yet set in stone, it will definitely feel like a downgrade in terms of memory size of users going from a GeForce RTX 2060 to the RTX 3060, even if the latter offers a bit more performance. So, slightly early to say whether we will once again see a 6GB memory on the RTX 3060 or if Nvidia will finally up the VRAM on its mainstream lineup too. A possibility is that the standard RTX 3060 replaces the RTX 2060 with 6GB of VRAM and the RTX 3060 Ti or Super replaces the 2060 Super with the 8GB of VRAM at a much higher price point. Again, these cards are positioned in vastly different segments and like the existing mainstream lineup, things could change. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.